Chris, now this is just gonna be monumental. You know, we slave, you know, we slave to the music and we just, you know, we put it in the work. Hey, what's up? What you doing here? Hi. You coming to work? Yeah. <laughs> This care package too is gonna be really important, you know, to what's gonna happen for the album next year, and um, this gonna hold you over just like last year, you know. We said when the time was dinner time, you know what I mean. Care package to keep your ladies warm, so that's what we gonna be doing, you know what I mean. We here getting these bangers, so I hope you're ready. And I don't know, you might just catch some shit, you might just catch some fly shit, or you might just catch some real personal shit. You know what I mean? That's the kind of stuff that happens in the studio. It's like our place of comfort so you know our opinions the things that we feel you know we just we just let it all out you know what i mean hope y'all hope y'all dig it you know what i'm saying because y'all some opinionated motherfuckers <laughs> so we gonna talk our shit today today we gonna say what the fuck we want and don't take it personal you know what i mean Love is all you tasting, all you tasting. You throw it back, girl. I like it like that. Needs a bit of that. You know, everybody can say that shit is hot. Everybody can say they work hard. You know what I'm saying? But you know, not only are you my brother, you know what I'm saying? You witnessed all of my phases. You know what I'm saying? So you know, <laughs> yeah. what what do you think about? You know what I'm saying? Like everything that's happening right now. You know what I mean? Like you know, unbiased. You know what I mean? Position, you know what I'm saying? Like, what, what, what do you feel about, you know, the music that's being put together, you know what I'm saying? Even though people won't feel like it's biased, I'm saying, like, you know, they don't really know you like that, right? I'm just saying, I know they don't know you like I know you, so it's like, ain't no reason for you to love. So I gotta just say that for the camera and shit, but go ahead. We, we trying to get to another pinnacle, man. You know, like, this is our lives, man. We live in the art. We live in the art. We are artists. Every day, every day, every day, we artists, man. Get easy, turn it up. Oh, we're about to break this hell. That nigga looks like he's been bombing his mom. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah, because he went on Kimmel yeah. tonight. Right? That's why we're trying to watch this. Shit. Combination of me knowing you, but also me not knowing the person who put, you know, a, a bad headline on the cover of In Touch, and me not knowing this person. I was like, well, this is the one person I know, so I can go and let out everything that I feel about every single bogus weekly cover, every single bogus skit, every single rumor in barbershop, everything that people feel is okay to treat celebrities like zoo animals or act like what they're saying is that serious or their life is that serious or their dreams are that serious. And you know, it kind of just went and kind of elevated from a call that we just had. Very. That word you just said, very. I got some man, and people are gonna know the difference between the rhyme and the beats and the rhythm and the blues. What? Like, you know, niggas is really living it, man. Whether y'all like it or not, <laughs> niggas ain't going nowhere. Period. You see this face? 